Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about growing sweet peppers. These are bell peppers, and the other section that I'm gonna show you are banana peppers. We're gonna do a harvesting so you can see how many you get out of a space. We'll also go over tips for growing the sweet peppers. Bell peppers can be a little bit finicky. These are awesome plants. They are in a Vajega metal bed. You can find that information in the video description. I'm affiliated with them. This is about two feet wide, six feet long, and I think 34 or 36 inches high. A tip for really all peppers, but banana peppers really like a nice quality soil, lots of consistent moisture, not soaking wet, but just deep soil. And they are really thriving in this space. I will link the video that shows you how I filled this. The bottom third gets mediocre material, middle third okay stuff, top third better stuff. This is the second year growing in there. So this is just really well broken down. The tomatoes, the tomatoes, the peppers are thriving in here. No issues on the leaves, nice big leaves. I'm not even spraying them. Now, bell peppers and peppers in general are pretty fragile. So these got snapped off in the wind we had because I stopped tying them up the stake, you know, too far back. I should have done it again right about here. But you can see that they're damaged and I've lost, you know, a good amount of peppers. All right, let me clean this up. We'll get to the harvest, but just take a look get that out of the way of what's in there and I've been taking peppers out of here already all right let me clean it up there are 12 peppers in here so I've cut back some of the muscadines you can see that some of the peppers have dropped down so you definitely want to stay up on keeping them staked up and I'm just using three foot bamboo posts beautiful red pepper right into there we'll get to that there are 12 peppers in this space there are 11 bell peppers and a cayenne that's really doing really well. My southern sun's over here, western sun. You want to put them in a place where they're getting maximum sun. So I'm going to stake them back up, open up some space in between because you do want the maximum sunlight getting into there. The peppers are tied to the stakes. I really recommend doing that because I lost about a half a dozen peppers because as I was lifting the branches they were snapping. Bell peppers are extremely fragile, so you really want to take care of them. When you get into this space, no, notice, you know, the beautiful peppers, of course. I'm starting to remove the leaves in here, so I'm going to go in and remove all the leaves that are tucked in there. They're just, they don't need to be there. They're not doing much. They're not getting any sunlight. I can see, you know, eight peppers in here, maybe. Some beautiful orange peppers right in there. I've been harvesting the peppers out of here. Over the summer, this is probably my third or fourth harvest. These are just producing really, really well. The bottom of the plants have been opened. That creates a nice airflow. That helps reduce the chances of diseases. Also helps you manage pests. The peppers are looking pretty good. Coming in from the side back here, you can see, well, some of the upper leaves are blocking, but you can see how well, you know, nicely it's open right down there. And that's what you're really looking for. Keep all the leaves up top. You want that sun energy getting into there. The soil, these plants were put in in the, probably the middle of uh, May. I added some compost, maybe two inches, threw in some organic granular fertilizer, worked it into the top six inches, planted my plants, watered them in well with a water-soluble fertilizer. I use AgroThrive, you can find that in my video description. And then in the middle of July, I threw in a couple handfuls of the organic granular, gave them a very light drink of water-soluble, and now I'm done feeding them. And the plants are doing really, really well. So from this side, you can see how it's open right down the center. That's perfect. You get the airflow in there. Removed the muscadine vines. Airflow on that side. The peppers here are going to do extremely well all the way until the frost comes. The leaves are just beautiful. You know, and again, I have 11 bell pepper plants in here. One cayenne pepper. That's in a two-foot you know, wide, six foot long footprint. You can really get kind of peppers planted almost on top of each other. They do like to hold hands is what it's called, but they do well. You know, there's no need to space them out. There's no need to really tie up a lot of space in your yard. Something like this is perfect for your bell peppers. This is harvest like three or four out of there. Really nice. We're gonna have stuffed bell peppers tonight. Good size, different colors, different varieties in there. Growing in the raised beds is perfect for bell peppers and most of your peppers. They really appreciate a nice loose soil where the roots can get deep down there. They get plenty of moisture. These plants actually need to be watered in. I'm gonna wait till later this evening, give them some water. 
we tend to underwater our pepper plants and most of our garden vegetables. So give them more water than you think. This drains really well, but you basically have three feet of this really good stuff, even the stuff down there that was, you know, put in as basically, you know, not completely broken down compost, even pieces of firewood, etc. That will slowly break down versus being out here in my ground that's mostly clay. So when I set up the soil in my ground beds, maybe the plants get a good eight, 10 inches of soil to grow into, and then they hit that clay, a lot of them do fine. But in here, it's really, you know, 30, 32 inches of great stuff that the peppers love, and they really do take off. And there's a lot more peppers on there that I'm just waiting, you know, to get a little bit bigger. I don't need, you know, 12, 18 peppers all at once. So the peppers on this side look pretty good. Highly recommend growing in these type of Vajega metal beds. Let's go over to the banana peppers. Here we are bright and early the next day from when this video was shot. I wanna show you what the peppers look like now that they're perked up. They were watered last night. They're absolutely beautiful. Now when people are asking me like, what are your you know tricks or what are your tips? There's nothing fancy here. We're concentrating on nice loose soil, like 12 inches. When I make my soil, check out my videos, 50% peat moss, 50% earth from around the ground or something like that. That makes a nice base. Then I cut that, take two thirds of that, put in a third compost, organic granular. Nothing really fancy. You just want it nice and loose. That 12 inches, lots of air pockets, the root systems fill it up. You know, in this bed, of course, they get more space. But that 12 inches is just going to make for a great root system. A great root system supports beautiful growth like this. Look at all the peppers that are on there. And lots of buds starting to form. Everything is perked up, again, more flowers, and they're just growing really, really well. Then with that, you know, you have the organic granular, a little water soluble thrown in there, not too much, <laughs> not too little, just right, of course, but nothing, nothing fancy. Then you keep them watered. The water allows the plants to pull in all the nutrients keep them staked, they have to be staked because they're really fragile, keep the airflow open, and you can see some of the distance that I planted these. As long as you're taking care of them like that, there's a pretty big pepper in there that I didn't pull. As long as you're taking care of them, they're gonna really thrive and do well. Some more right in there. And then when we go over to the banana peppers, I mean, the reason I want to show them is because they're just so prolific. So as a first time gardener, banana peppers are wonderful to grow. But look just how nice these look. Nothing on the leaves, huge leaves, growing well, nothing fancy. My point for banana peppers is that they're really, really prolific. And I just want to show you all the peppers that are on here. I've harvested dozens off of here already. If you leave them on, they'll turn to an orange, to a red. They were fertilized the same way, set the soil up with compost, some organic granular, watered them in with the water soluble. Middle of July, they got a little bit more. Nothing really too fancy. Now, some of the leaves look pretty good. They're just a little bit beat up. Not a lot of care going into here. But banana peppers are really prolific. They have really good resistance to diseases. They do well against insects. These guys were left alone. They look pretty good. I'm gonna harvest everything, show you what comes out of these six plants, and then I'm gonna take care of them. I'm gonna stake them back up and take care of some of the leaves underneath so that these will continue to grow and produce really through September. All those banana peppers came off the plants today. When they turn red, they start getting soft. They're really, really sweet, but make sure you pick them quickly. That's when they're gonna start to rot. Absolutely delicious. I've been eating these for a month. I just come in the garden, take a couple, and eat them. So I've staked them up. Now, this was an experiment. Sometimes as a new gardener, maybe you don't realize you have to stake your pepper plants. A good way to do it is to angle them outward if they're in a bed, or even if they're in the ground. And you create more space in the middle by staking them and kind of pulling them towards the camera. So now that they're staked up, plenty of airflow, really put too many into this small space. Would have been best to do one, two, three, four. Horseradish plant shadowed the peppers right here. That's why they're smaller. Pepper plants really do need a good eight plus hours of sun. The ones over here got the most sun. And they're gonna be just fine. These will continue to produce, they're flowering, and they'll continue to produce well into late September here in Maryland Zone 7. 
check out my blog, The Rusted Garden Journal, and I will list all the tips that I gave you for growing um, pepper plants. Bell peppers really do like greater depth of soil, holds moisture, full of compost. They do really, really well and they thrive. Same with banana peppers. If you can work the soil to a good 8 inches, 10 inches, again nice and loose, add in compost, they're going to just appreciate it. We tend to underwater our pepper plants, so the better you prepare the growing area, the more they can slowly, you know, pull the nutrients or continually pull the nutrients, get the water they need, keep up on the watering, and you're going to have a thriving sweet pepper garden. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and check out my blog, The Rusted Garden Journal, because most of my videos going forward will have a supporting blog post so you don't have to take notes jot things down just go to the blog print out the information that's there thanks for watching